Welcome back to day two of the 2024 Dodgeball BC Provincial Championships. Playoff additions on to the quarterfinals. On the far end, representing Vancouver Island, Hyper Men. On the near court, representing Metro Vancouver, many of them veterans of the VDL League. Nocturnals. Co-captains John Clark and Zion Leaf represent Hyper, along with Matthew and Connor Ebert, Dan Smart, Doug Hines, and Ian Kopp on Nocturnals. Co-captains Jackie Leung and Kevin Young, with Kenton Wong, Lucas Lau, Hubert Nguyen, Milan Garcia, Jason Sam, Matthew Wu, and John Yun. Both teams are lined up and ready to go. Opening rush, toss back. Strike, not connecting. Good throw, back and forth. And Zion Leaf is the first to go, giving a big advantage to Nocturnals. Clark taking the right wing. Nocturnals, Wong, Leung, Sam also with the throw. Lau protecting on the left wing. Burden now on Hyper. Matthew Ebert, strong arm on the left wing. Doug Hines, number 22, with the throw. Protected by Ian Kopp, number two. He passes it on. Ebert New in the middle. Solo send, Connor Ebert. And now, Hyper, one on target. Sam stays alive. Big throw, big alem. And also Clark, Lau on Clark. Down to three hyper men. Hyper the victors in the bronze medal match last year. Hoping to repeat. Remember it's five men's teams this year that move forward. Wong, Young, now Mew getting the ball. Young in the middle with the throw, and one of the most interesting, the Slough is eliminating, it's just that delivery that Ian Kopp has. I, it's just, it's so hard to describe. And he gets it out. He pushes the ball, and then he hurls it at Young, co-captain, eliminated. Now, Ebert, Hines, Kopp, two on target, but Wong ducks and rolls. Well, Leung gets caught there. Good awareness by the Hyper team to realize that Leung is uh, trapped. Whoa! Hey, great heads up reaction. Matthew Ebert brings on the king. Zion the lion ready to go. Good ops new. What a turnaround. Big rip, almost. Having me, and Zion is quickly out. Hines protecting him. Goes on the offense. Two on two. What a match, folks. Okay, we uh, pause all of that momentum just for a shoe tie, which is good. Shot crosses. Burden to throw now, Hyper. Big rip, better dodge. Crosses back and forth and a hit. Now 2v1. Ebert, Hines, two balls in hand. One, two, misses. Hubert sends it back. You getting to a corner. No, he's, he's just getting some balls right now. Burden is on Hyper. Resets the shot clock. Okay, what do we see? Two on target. One, trailer, missing. Iron 
Williams, Ebert ready. Two at the same spot, but that's not where he is. He sends one right on target, ably blocked by Ebert. Good rip high and wide. He's got some big rips for straight fastballs. Often two up. Oh, but that one seeking the shoes. One point. Both teams lined up. Toss back down, Smart now in the middle. This is Sam. Elon Garcia on court for Nocturnals. Adds it back, being part of the opening rush. Ups and out for Connor Ebert. Hyper with the burden to throw. Long gets the ball. Looks back, Cobb. Reset for Nocturnals. Shot clock counts down against them. Up and stays with it, Dan Smart. Presence of mind. Putting a full court for Hyper. Hyper played so well at Nationals in Montreal last year. Burden to throw, Wong with the play call to Sam Lau. Targeting Clark, who is limped. It's Cobb with the throw, right? Beautifully thrown at Sam, who brings it back to him. Elder Ebert, Junior Ebert. It's the junior with the throw. Meanwhile, watch out for Zion Lee. That's what Sam was doing. Long Garcia, Lau with the balls. Good rip, not connecting. You've yet to see Leaf unleashed. He gets another ball in hand though. Good rips back and forth. No damage. Burden to throw, Hyper, shot clock reset, back and forth action. No tag outs. Co-captain Young says, slow down, we got lots of balls. Sets his team up for success as he hangs back. Out of the time. Oh, but Dan Smart with another catch and a big hit on defense. Bring back, brings back co-captain Clark. Ebert, Cop, Leaf. Solo throw. Young getting well out of the way. Meanwhile, Garcia ably gets that ball. So four men, four balls. Nocturnal ready, set, deliver. High and outside. Burden to throw, Hyper. Crossing doesn't connect. Leaf, quick as cat reflexes, pushes that ball out of the way. And shots fired back and forth, resulting in two eliminations on Hyper. Now player advantage, Nocturnals, giving them the burden to throw. doesn't want a ball at all. He wants to make sure that Ebert has two. Sends his only ball. Now Burton shifts to Ben, uh, ben Benna, to Nocturnals. And not only was it not a catch, 
not successfully blocked by Smart. Somehow, it just shoots over to Clark, resulting in a 1v4. Matthew Ebert by himself. Long-limbed Ebert very ably moves his body around to block, dodge. Don't see a ton of catches out of him, but that arm will win matches. And a tag out results in a point. Now 1-1. One, one. It's for others to know, like, don't sit here. Opening rush, toss back. Sam defends his team. Hines, and the ball's up and way out of the way. Burden to throw on Hyper. Good ups by Leung. Nocturnal men slowing down the momentum after getting their point. Wong, Leung, Young, Lau to the line. Good rip. Trade. So that's two down for Hyper, one co-captain out for Nocturnals. Brothers Ebert remaining for Hyper. Now getting the ball for his teammates, giving it to Garcia. Wong with the play call on the right wing. Play call now, Matthew Ebert, number 69. Sets his brother up, trailer does it. Meanwhile, it, it was a trade overall, so 1v4. We've been here before, just last set. Great throw, that's that arm of Ebert. His mobility and athleticism blocking that ball away. Again, we're not likely to see a catch, but he can still win that match by himself. Milan with the play call on the right wing. Good throws. And a hit. Does it? Advantage Nocturnals. Opening rush. Young toss back to Sam. Delivers it right in and out of the bread basket of Ian Kopp. With the extra ball, short of player, Hyper Men. Head to the line. Zion Leaf now in the middle. It's Doug Hines with the throw. Wong on the right wing with the play call. Gets his center player to throw it at. And now, trade situation. Clark out with Sam. Lots of balls on the hyper end, so it's their burden to throw. Leaf with two in hand. Expect him and Ebert to throw. Lau gets one on the way out. Matthew Ebert has been the survivor so long for hyper. As long keeps himself alive. Wong, Garcia, Young, and here we go again with another tag. It's Zion Leaf by himself, member of the Team Canada squad. Wickedly throws, sidewinds, right, left. It's like the ball couldn't decide which way it wanted to go. Good rip again, Young holding his own in the attack zone, joined by Young. It rips, two ball block. Wong couldn't pull it in. Huge shots. So much movement. Three V one.
Burden the throw on Leaf. Oh, see that throw? It is unbelievable. He was hopping way out of the way, but the ball had eyes. Extra ball on court, not affecting the play until Garcia gets his feet caught up in it. 2v1. Garcia, Young. Shot clock counting down. Big rip, high and outside. Young electing to give the ball to Garcia. Us is in for a quick play call. Pause in the action for a little shoe tie. Ready to reset. Quick opportunity for a play call here. And we go. Turfs it low. Burden on Hyper. Big rip. Counter. Not on target. This one is. Garcia says yes. As he eliminates Ryan Leaf. Making it a three to one lead. Oh, with four minutes remaining in this first half. Hyper men hoping to make it three two as we get closer to the half. Watch for Dan Smart to be on target. Lex not to throw, prove me wrong. Great throw, Sam. Better dodge by Hines. Hyper with the play call now. Shot does not connect on Hubert New. Co-captain Young getting the ball. Hustles to the line, rips it himself onto the fingers of Smart. He shakes his own head at himself, by the way, not at the other two. Naughty hands. In and out. Good hit. Sam thinking about getting that ball. Let's his retriever get it because the hyper men were ready to unleash on him. Shot clock counting down against Nocturnals. And tags the back shoulder of Ebert. Meanwhile, Cops' unique delivery results in a sweeper not touching Sam but coming after him. Four men of hyper at the line. Great solo throw, taking out Niu. Four on four. Two minutes and change left. We could end up tied at the half, but boy, would that be a bit of a surprise turnaround. Ebert protecting his teammate. Burden is on Hyper as the shot clock counts down against them. Good rip, but high and outside. We are now officially inside of two minutes for this first half. And a line out for a cop. Hyper men, Ebert on the left. Sends it on his opposing winger, Wong, who stays alive. No rush, Nocturnals. They are walking up to the line. Solo sends, turns the ball back. Wong can't pull it in, but it's a trade. As Hines is taken out. Now 3-2. Here we are again, Matthew Ebert. 
You have been given 1v opportunity after opportunity. And it's the final minute of this first half. Half. Shot clock counting down against the Nocturnals. Balls back and forth. Incredibly, Ebert is able to put a ball on ball as Sam is a limbed. 2v1. Remember, Garcia was the victor of the last set. Two ball block. Hard fastball. Rolls back on court. Burden to throw. Nocturnals. Good dodging, and it's a hit. Another point. But we will not be seeing a tie game at half as we have just enough. No, we do not have enough time. So we are at the end of the first half. We'll be starting in no blocking. Teams are still allowed to take timeouts, even though that time itself, a construct, does not exist. Five to one versus four to two is a very different game. Burden to throw because of the last point is on Nocturnals and they take out the whole family. No, Ebert's left. Great ups always by the right winger Wong. Right there, big throws, no limb. We've seen it all day, Wong, up to the line. So it's now Hines holding up the left wing. Co-captains, Clark and Leaf. It's Clark with the throw. Ball's exchanging. Okay. So the player was eligible to touch it, even though he was dying. Loud, great, great thinking on his part. He was never eligible to catch it. So he boops the ball on court, keeping the ball alive. So we're, we're, we're clarifying as DeMello breaks the fourth wall and talks to the fans. Co-captain Clark is clarifying. Now one of the most important things, I think Mitch had a great angle. He never touched the wall, right? And, and, and uh, so, you know, the way the... And uh, thanks to having Pete Decker beside me here, we're clarifying as he touched the ball, booped it on court, keeping it alive, and then hits the wall. So again, the wall is an extension of the floor if you think of it that way. Uh, so the moment, even if you're standing on court and you put your hand on the wall, it means you've, you've touched off court. And that ball is being left in, in neutral territory. Garcia attempted with his athleticism, thinks better of it with the arms on Hyper as they come to the line. Cop retrieving it. 3v3. Like I said, 5 to 1 versus 4 to 2. We're watching a completely different second half depending on the score. A little multiverse of dodgeball. Shots exchanged and Yu is not happy about that one. Cop squares up, but just to protect. Young Garcia, spreading out, two balls in hand. They send them both, getting Heinz, now two on two. Oh, new, new upset, and you know, we bring up the wall touch, and there it happens. Big rip, and you get to see the, the sweep. Caught, great throw, but now lots of balls on the nocturnal end. They have offense going one, two, three, and the third one does it. Cop again with his unique delivery. Outsized, two to one, can't block, but he can't duck, dodge, dive, and points, you got me. Garcia coming in clutch again for his team. 
Leon doing such a great part too. We're switching halves, so they'll have enough time to regroup. So, so can you. Take a drink. So meanwhile, during this half, we can have Pete chime in. Hello, Pete Decker. Good morning, afternoon. Don't Gee, know. You had a great angle on that action just there. I did, and he did tap the ball in before he hit the wall. I can, can, I can confirm. Um, great play. I mean, this wall, though, it's for everybody watching at home, it's been super tight here. Um, we're doing the best we can with what we have. And, uh, yeah, multiple people have stepped or touched that wall this weekend. It's kind of you, – you feel it so close to you, and you, like, subconsciously just reach to grab it, I, right? Uh, because it's, like, it's right there, right? And we're all used to playing, like, maybe rec, rec league and stuff, like wall ball nights. Yeah, yeah, no big deal. And it's, yeah, like, yeah. usually doesn't really matter. Yeah, you almost want to use it just to set your positioning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to join Ben here for the second half, and uh, we'll have some more fun. Let me go. You, you keep your spot here, Ben. I'm a fly on the wall, buddy. So we were talking just prior to this, 5-1 versus 4-2. We, we just split the multiverse because this is a very different match going into the second half. Yes. So if you're, if you're the hyper men, you've made it to the bronze medal. You've made it to nationals. How do you recover from a 5-1 deficit? You, I mean, you need points and you need a lot of them. I mean, the bonus is 20 minutes is a lot of time. I think key is winning this first game for them, right? Like, I, like you just said, 4-2 is a lot different than 5-1, but 6-1 is a lot different than 5-2. Uh, so. Nocturnal men to the line. That's a hit, two hits. They, and not only did they get two out, they got two for that leaving Leaf, Smart, and Ebert to go against the full court. Now, Nocturnals is playing very well. Um, they're communicating well. They seem to be making their hits. They head to the line there, Burton. Another throw. hit. Right on target. Thankfully, this time, Another oh, hit. Leaf isn't able to pull it in. And the shots are just connecting. Mr. 1v, Matthew Ebert going up against four nocturnal players. Co-captain sends it back and forth, the balls go. Now for a big fella, man, this guy is sure hard to hit. It's, his mobility just defies logic. One of the things that surprises me, he, he often like keeps his legs pretty straight up. So it almost like tempts you. It like, looks like there's lots of spots yeah, to hit. Yeah, but yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. As he sends it, and it's, he's normally got a fastball, but that was like a screwball going yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, he does the funny stuff. So, and, and when we're, we're seeing the nocturnal man, hold, hold, hold. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting fired up about <laughs> that. They want every ball. Do you see one ball go? Yeah, we see it. The yeah, they're, toss. they're not in a rush. Nocturnals is not in a rush to kill Ebert here, right? Meanwhile, Ebert. So they, did they, tie, did they call a timeout or did he line out? I think he it was lined, a lineup. He lined yeah. out. Which okay. is it's a smart. It's like it's these moments. It's either do something there or let's start a yeah, new game. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, you have to be so mindful of the clock. And and there's that deception. You're seeing Nocturnals, and they're like, ah, oh, he just threw a soft one at me. I got this. And you're like, no, no, that's that's um, playing like a, like a ground defense uh, on offense. We're just going to run the ball. Yeah. You know, if you think of it like football language. You're, you're, you're essentially saying here that you guys got to do the things if you want to win the game, right? Putting it in their hands kind of. Chaos ensuing. Top limbs as well as and one. And I think we're at 5v5 after that dust settles. A big him. rip by Jason Sam in the middle. Shots exchanging in a trade. Some trades, and we are three for four, four v three. Burden to throw on Nocturnals. Ground. 
Clark squaring up Lau. Going back, getting the ball. Hines hustles in. They spread. And now at the line. What do, you, what do you think about the white shorts, Ben? Well, you, you got you to gotta have a good washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You got to have some uh, good uh, underwear yeah, too, yeah, exactly. that kind of hold uh, everything in. Well, and you and I are baseball fans. As we've seen, uh, right now there's some drama. In, oh, 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 there's some drama in baseball. Yeah, the, yeah, the they're making here. crappy pants. <laughs> yeah, 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 where you can see the underwear. <laughs> and you might even see more than the yeah, underwear, yeah. I think. I see it on some of the photos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a planner's uh, planner's commercial. <laughs> Clark, Ebert, Hines spreading out. Four balls, nocturnals. Also not in a rush. They'll be losing all the full 10 seconds on their counts here. Really forcing Hyper to play the game, essentially. Oh, great drop on that play. Hines then, thinking you, the counter. There you see it. I mean, you ha it's not forced, but it, it's, it's almost, you have to almost, right? Yeah, and actually, uh, so the last match we were talking about, it's like this. Oh! Almost they, a double. Yeah, and, and, you know, actually the ideal person. Okay, now 1v2. Jason takes us out. And now we have 1v2. We got Lucas. Okay, it's John, John Clark and Doug. Hines. It's a block. Two ball block. Now I'm sure you've probably mentioned Lucas, Team Hong Kong at Worlds in Edmonton. Has moved here to Vancouver, playing with the Nocturnal guys. Brings a lot of that experience and knowledge to hand over to these guys and you can tell it's, uh, it's working. Defensive play called by Hines. Clark, thinking about Charge in transition, but rethinks it. We're gonna see a one-two. We do. Whips it back. Now I will say this guy is super hard to kill, and especially if he has two balls to block with. It's, this could take a while. That's exactly what his teammates want to hear. Thinks about squaring up that last one. Resets. Burden to throw still on Nocturnals. Shot clock counting down against them. And at the final second, as you pointed out, and he blocked it. Yeah, everyone saying clear of all charges. <laughs> Here's that full 10 seconds yet again. Good throws on both counts, but like you said, he's putting on a clinic and surviving. Yeah. Yeah, we play against them a lot, so I'm well aware of how m many balls it takes to <laughs> kill this guy. Lions looking alert. It's too bad, really, that one ball that was chasing him. He's got that sort of gyroscopic athleticism, Hines, that, that he could have twisted back and grabbed it. It, it would have been that sort of defying all yeah, physics. It, it would have been what they needed to, I guess, if you could look at it that way. Well, because right now, Lau is just deciding that to... That one got him. There we go. Uh, Eventually yeah. it will work out, it's just, you know, time yeah. is not something you really have no, exactly. the luxury of playing yep. with. It's kind of like you want that kill f three minutes ago, but it, here we are, 6-2. I mean, how much time do we have left? About 12 minutes, and I mean, it's... You're probably going to see five sets, but it needs to be dominant now. Yeah. Here on out, a smart, takes the toss back, always so accurate. Sam yes. eliminated. Dan Smart, always very accurate on that rush. Big catch by Lucas, bringing on Jason Sam. And then back to the slow pace for Nick Nocturnals here. On fakes, no rush again. Preemptive throw by Ebert, missing. And now four balls for Nocturnals. No rush, I would assume. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those tough moments when you're watching. Oh, they it. do throw two. Yeah. See, that's uncharacteristic. Hey, hey, well, and then you know, you just if you if you think you've got the shot, and if they they still need to win. True. I mean, a dead player is a dead player, or eliminated player, I should say. Correct my language. 
Now Clark, Ebert, Hines, the elder, elder Ebert with the throw. The survivability of that right wing is just incredible. Kenton Wong. That's nice. another Team Hong Kong member. And then chaos ensuing. Wong, <laughs> he was squaring up. Just you can see, <laughs> making sure that Clark was out. That was good part. Like, his, otherwise, maybe you just release just in case. You give an extra ball. He was just standing tall. Ebert as he safe in the corner. Him. Very hard to hit, like we previously mentioned. Shot clock on Nocturnals. Counting down, two seconds remaining, just in time for Ebert to get tagged out. Ball burden on Hyper. Connor Ebert on the right wing. Those hands getting out of the way. I will say that Co Connor Ebert, the legs on this guy are like tree trunks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you? Oh, smart! Always oh, known for great catches. He wants uh, that one back. He wants that one back. Yeah. How do you? How do you know that the Eberts grew up with rugby? There you <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, doubt. Yes. No doubt. Now Hines taking on all kinds here. <laughs> Five v one. All kinds for Hines. Oh, well. shot at me. <laughs> uh oh. And he lines out. Oh, oh. See, that's that unbelievable mobility going against him there. Just right. The, the way just too much movement. Just, and and kind of your point. Uh, those players, when we're, we started the amateur level, were often playing what's called wall ball, letting all the surface to you. And that's where sometimes you see people just flip around and not really have to be as court aware. Yeah, that's true. And uh, just, and you know, there's moments of saying props for like the, oh, smart. Great catch, Leaf. The king is coming out here. Yeah. And Dan is back in on the catch that happened on the rush by Zion. Zion Leaf. <laughs> smart with the game intelligence. <laughs> That's, and so one of the keys that we're, we're just kind of noticed there is you got to, thank you, Mitch. One of the keys that he did there was you have to be eligible to be brought back in. So get off court. Shows the hustle. Walk by Zion Leaf in the corner. Zion's letting it rip. And oh! It, oh, I thought he pulled that one in. Goes for one of his trademark catches. Can't do it. It's just calamity right now. Whoa. Sam, Sam does a dance move. Cops throwing. Everybody's throwing. Now, how would you describe Ian Cops' throw? I feel like he pushes the ball. It's, yeah. it's like this, like. You're right, you're right. It does kind of have that, uh, like almost a shot put vibe, but it's not, it's not slow, right? It's not necessarily slow. No, 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 it, it, it does, yeah, like it, it, it's, it still has that It definitely that gets, it gets on you quicker than it looks. It kind of looks like it's floating through the air. But it's quicker than, oh, right on the foot. And now, Ian, Ian Kopp, always, uh, always the type to let you know you got him. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I always, I always know that, notice that about him when you're playing him. He always wants to let you know, yeah. oh, yeah, you just smoked me. <laughs> Burn Nocturnals, and they put multiple targets on. And a trade situation. Hines clipped. Decisive advantage now, eight to two. Eight to two, less than eight minutes remaining. And that's a tall order here for Hyper. So what's important to remember is five men's teams are moving forward. Correct, so both of these teams have already qualified for nationals. They're both going to be uh, playing in Richmond, correct? Uh, I think there will be a, a plan, wouldn't it? Or the, we still the, need to determine the fifth place. The loser of this still has to play for the fifth, the five spot, right? The fifth place yeah, yeah. spot. Because the bronze medal match is third, fourth. Oh, okay, okay. And then, yeah, yeah. So, where it's a, it's a interesting is the two, the most exciting game in a way is fifth v six to end the day. True enough. Yeah, true enough. Unless some people care to watch, you know, hardest foam. Or <laughs> I mean, hardest foam still has to play Vendetta here next, so there's. Uh, there's we, games to be had. We can't be talking about that yet, Ben, okay? 
Has anyone uh, compared Hardest Foam Kansas City Chiefs yet? Uh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> You're bringing back all sorts of juju <laughs> over here. <laughs> and great yeah. shots on target. Co-captains Leaf and Clark making it a 1v situation. Time on the side of Nocturnal. Shot clock, though. Jackie Leung all by himself. Let's see, foot oh, shot oh. on Doug Hines. Safe in the corner now. Five balls for Jackie Leung. He's got a few in hand. We're likely to see him release one and then do a two ball block. Clark not throwing. Leung still owes them one. He's taking his time. And he gets tapped. Eight three. And for anybody wondering, I've got a peek at the score on uh, another playoff match going on. We've got Cerberus versus Sunshine Boys, and it looks like it's five four currently for Cerberus. Opening rush, toss back. Goes in favor of Piper. So now only four remaining for Nocturnals. That was best case scenario if you're hyper. Two on target, Clark staying alive. Trevor giving one to Leaf. Leaf, Clark, Ebert. Crossing, the trailer, no connection. Hit on oh, Lucas Lau in the corner. Uh, ball advantage on Nocturnal side. Shot clock counting down, final seconds. And a catch. Whoa! The leap. We're confirming does a player go on? Okay. And quick momentum shift. Is Leaf going to send it now? He usually does. Yes, he does. He usually does, says Ben. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you watch this too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leaf and brings it in! Catch. Hoorah! Goes Hyper. 8-4 now. Timeout looks like it's been called. Yeah, timeout's been called by Nocturnals. One thing, uh, the, uh, Leaf has a, a unique catch style sometimes. It's just the way you can, like, kind of bicep curl it in. Yeah. Just like just he sneaky grabs it. Almost just kind of like slightly bends his knees and just kind of makes his backstop as flat as he can. And, and, and then he's, you see his, his hands are so like kind of genteel the way he brings it in. Like just like it's, it's like <laughs> little genteel. trappers. Genteel. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, like you that. have seen kind of the way it, like they, they, they operate independent of the rest of his arm. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you see most people. They, like they, a, almost like a... Um, like uh, paddle on uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on a pinball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like well a, done. Like, yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah. pinball paddles. Yeah. And then right. it just squares it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like when you when the ball's coming down and you try and hold it out to the side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, and you keep yeah. it there stuck for a yeah. second and then when you're ready to let it roll down to the bumper, right? You let it then you bring them in. Earlier today we talked about both the physical and mental energy. Uh, not large teams. Earlier, you know, earlier we're also watching teams that have, like, man, some of them are 10, 12 players. Yes. So we're watching this 40-minute match, uh, and, and, and there's no kind of sitting through. I think we saw, I think, at least one, I don't, can't remember if it was Vendetta or Eclipse, had a player basically sit the whole, whole match. Right. Here, it's quick rotations of everyone on both sides. And a trade of the strikers. Garcia out too. Yeah, the more players you have, that definitely becomes one of the issues. I mean, you try to, you always try and get everybody involved as well. Um, but then, like, there comes a point where it's like, do you got to ride who's hot? And, like, how do you tell a grown man, like, hey, you got to sit, man? You know, that, that's the tough part. So, you know, the, the, the more players you have on your team is the more tough conversations that you have to have when the going gets rough and tough here. But more weapons is always valuable to have. Good shot, block better block. On, Turf that cross one. 
But all day, every day, these wingers for Nocturnal, it's just impressed always. Just the way Wong, he's squaring up right now. Leaf hit out. Lau's taking out the both wingers now for for Hyper, two on target. Again, Ebert's ever able to get out of the way. Not, not many, we were saying catches. Right. But kind of arm and defense. This oh, is super block. strength. Walk straight up and out. Burden to throw, Nocturnals. Great shot, like you said, Cop doing the point. Always with the point, yeah, always with the point. Yeah, you got me. Oof. I heard something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> A smack in the face, and now 1v4. Deja vu all over again. Ebert versus four. Oh, he takes, he gets the first one. Lau unable to get another out. Ebert new takes his place. Solo throw on target. Ball up and out of the way. He hits another. And he oh, takes his out oh. on the hair. Both Eberts hit on the hair yeah, 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 yeah. in that last game. That's what they get for being so tall, eh? Or having such long hair. <laughs> One of the two. The flow. Cut your, cut your hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. you hippie. <laughs> less than two minutes remaining less, in the second half. Yeah, less than two minutes. And update on the Cerberus Sunshine Boys game was a 6-4 win for Cerberus. So it will be Cerberus versus the winner of this game that is being played. Smart squares up, missing Garcia. And, there, and therein lies the challenge of, of this tournament where you see a team, you play the game, you win the game. Okay, next, next, yep. next until the day is done. And, and out here, I mean, I can speak from experience being a player here that every team you go up against out here, you have to have a different game plan. There's not really a cookie cutter mold of the way oh. everybody's playing out here, so. Ryan Leaf limbs. John Clark taking his place on the right wing. Now to square up against Lau. As Garcia attempts the tag. I think he is taken out in the process. Unless he's not, no, no, he's hiding at the back. Shot clock counting down. Quick charge, counters. A lot of shots are flying. A lot of people are safe. And I'm assuming probably around a minute or so left in this game. Oh. 10 seconds actually, corrected by Mitch. Well, and as the game and comes to the final end, count, the whistle goes, congratulations, Nocturnals. And that's a big, uh, big win for Nocturnals. Um, they've been working their butts off out here. Um, I know that they have, so that's big, big for them. I'm pretty proud of them, and looking forward to uh, getting some more work in against them as we get ready for uh, for nationals here in Richmond. So, uh, Ben, thank you very much for letting me stand in here, and Mitch, again, thank you for having me in, and everybody at home, hello. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the day. Um, well, uh, I love everybody, mostly, and uh, we love dodgeball. So, and thank you. Thank you.